the worst has happened. Operation Global Remedy has failed, and we are looking at a vast depletion of the Earth's resources. Should we engage on our final backup plan? This astronaut is the only chance humanity has left for survival. Are you aware this is a do-or-die mission? Once we launch, there's, there's no turning back. We have no choice. All mankind depends on it. Please, deliver us the moon. Deliver us. Please. Deliver us. Please. Deliver us. Hello guys, Fenchurch here, and welcome to Deliver Us the Moon, which is a newly crowdfunded adventure slash survival game developed by Kyokin Interactive. And Kyokin is a new developer based out of Holland. And just before we get into the game here, I'm going to say that if you like what you see in this video, you can still back the game until March 21st, and they have various stretch goals, including things like extra missions, full voice acting and VR compatibility, so yeah, if you like what you see in this video and you want to help them get to those targets, I've included all the links you need in the description. So the demo, which is what I'm playing just now, starts off with the launch sequence of the rocket that takes you on your journey into space and eventually to the moon, and you play as a single so far nameless astronaut apparently alone in their efforts to save humanity by finding another means of resources as the people on earth have fully depleted theirs apart from that the entire story and a demo in fact has very little explanation or hand holding and that actually stands out for me as a, a huge plus point I mean, there are far too many games these days that make themselves too easy to play, if that makes sense. And I feel that there should be more games where understanding the game and the environment and your objective and the tools that you use is as big a part as actually using those to play the game itself. And I know this is only early days for now, but I really hope that Deliver Us the Moon carries over what's in the demo to the main game in terms of that lack of hand-holding and not lack of direction because there is a story to the game and that gives you the direction that you need but the lack of explaining every single little thing like some games do. So I don't think I mentioned at the start actually, I forgot to mention that this game is going to be episodic. So five episodes in total. The first is due for release in August 2016. And then every three months after that until August 2017. Which seems like quite a long time to wait to be honest. But if you look at other episodic games of this nature, um, that seems to be about the norm in terms of wait time. So I guess that's not such a bad thing, but for me, I don't really like waiting a long time for stuff like that. So it's quite a short demo, about 15 to 20 minutes long, but at this stage it's a, quite a good indication of what the main game will be like, at least I hope so anyway. I mean the graphics look great for an indie team, probably quite a small indie team at that. The controls and the mechanics I've seen so far seem easy to understand after even you know even if it takes a little bit of trial and error easy to understand and the demo just seems quite polished as a whole so hopefully all these things carry forward into the main game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's been quite short I know but the demo is quite short and there's not a whole lot of information about it just now I'm gonna leave the rest of the demo up for you to watch if you want and that's me for just now so I will see you next time Thank you. 